During the last 18 or 19 months, we have all been witnessing one of the largest humanitarian crises in recent history. Many families in India have been beset by human tragedy because of the COVID pandemic and our hearts go out to them. We are still in the process of emerging from this generation and can learn so much from our own history which offers us many lessons in how to be resilient. Even though the process of bouncing back isn't immediate, it requires a step-by-step -step approach to recover from setbacks with openness to learning in the process and pausing for long enough to set a new direction from the lessons we learn. There are many historical examples to choose from, starting with the story of Rama and Sita, then the Mahabharat war, and more recently our nation's journey of independence during the last century, which is still emerging in the present times. Freedom from Britishers, and previously, enslavement under the Islamic as well as the Mughals, they all teach us a great lesson. All of us are born resilient. When we observe small children learning to walk, they fall over again and again. In fact, they develop the physical skills of balance, agility and coordination because of these falls, not despite of them. So-called failure is a necessary stepping stone to success. And that is true in any field. We all learn through experience. As small children, we do this very naturally. It is only once we develop the consciousness of failure, as opposed to continuous improvement, that we forget what it means to have a courageous and resilient approach to life. As adults, when we embark on a challenge, we sometimes fear the obstacles we will surely face and maybe also the opinions of others. Most of all, however, what prevents us from achieving our goals is our fear, fear of our own inadequacies. It is a sad thing really, given that we all have so much potential to succeed and thrive. In fact, we have more capacity than we can possibly imagine. We just need to learn the methods to access it. Our heart is naturally resilient and simple heart-based practices allow us to tune into the heart so that we can uncover our true potential, harness the true potential. The heart then becomes our guiding star or compass. It takes the lead and guides us through difficult times and challenges.